G'day ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. It is Christmas Day everyone, so Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Well let's just get to it. Now, Percy Jackson. I think I saw the first Percy Jackson movie way back when. Uh, don't really remember anything about it. Uh, like I said, this was years and years and years ago, so it's... You know. No, I don't think it was one of my favorites, to be honest. I, like I said, don't really remember it. Uh, never read any of the books. So this I'm going in pretty much blind with the information. I just know it's about a dude named Percy Jackson. He's got some gods with him. So that's all I really know about it. Like, so I know absolutely nothing. And I'm sure we're in for a fun time. We're just going to check out episode one, see how I like it. And let me know what you guys all think in the comments down below. Is it worth watching? For all you Percy Jackson fans specifically, like, is it actually worth watching? Is it a good adaption? Is it a bad adaption? Just let me know. In the meantime, this is episode one of Percy Jackson. So let's check it out. Look, I didn't want to be a half-blood. Being a half-blood is dangerous. It's scary. Most of the time, it gets you killed in a painful and terrible way. Unless you're Harry Potter. If you think you might be one of us, my advice is turn away while you still can. Because once you know what you are... So what is a half-blood? And they'll come for you. Is it half-human, half-god? Just based on the information that I have. And the Olympians. Okay, so it's the Greek gods. My name is Percy Jackson. I'm 12 years old. Well, of course he is. Am I a troubled kid? Yeah, you could say that. Bad grades, bullied, all the normal stuff. Okay. And then there's some other stuff. Some stuff that's maybe not so normal. Okay. What, did he apparate onto the roof? Like Harry Potter once did? That's me, back in second grade. Why was I up there? Yeah, good question, I kid. I saw something. At least. I could have sworn I saw something. There was definitely something there. It's a Pegasus. When you say you saw something like that, you wind up in this guy's office. Yeah. Good news. He's saying there's nothing to worry about. All in my imagination. Because he's the kid. <laughs> but if it happens again, make sure to tell someone. It happened again. These impossible What the hell? That felt like they walked right out of the stories my mom always told me. So, real one minute. And then the next. <laughs> I'm a loser. That makes sense. Hey, fellas, want to come here about the imaginary stuff I see? It's not a thing you want to be saying to anyone. Write a book. So I didn't. And then something changed. It's a lot of stuff. I met it felt good to talk about these things with Grover. You could almost believe they were imaginary. And you stopped playing Magic the Gathering? <laughs> Harmless. Until the day one of them decided to become for me. Okay, interesting. Nice backstory, but let's go. See here. They are not fiction. Right. The gods. Mm. The monsters. The heroes. Just depends on what the gods represent, I guess. Room, I want you to choose one of the subjects you see here and describe it. Not just how it looks. Kid needs some glasses. Or he's dyslexic. You feel. That's me. That's who you're named after. Why can't we see the mom's face? Is that why I named me after him? Because he was a hero? What makes you think he was a hero? Mm-hmm. Not everyone who looks like a hero is a hero. And not everyone who looks like a monster is a monster. I named you after him. Depends on which side you're on. He was a very little boy. He and his mother were placed in a wooden chest 
and cast out into the sea by a very angry king. Who's it? Mom? <laughs> I'm right here, sweetie. Mommy's here. <laughs> Mr. Jackson, you will learn to control yourself. Do you understand me? Who's this bitch? You understand me. He can't help it, Mrs. Dodds. Percy's special. Well, fuck that bitch. Let's see what the gods have in store for you. They'll tell you. I believe in you. Thank you, kindly old man. And I believe you'll be needing this. <laughs> Hang on to that. This is a mighty instrument. Because it's mightier than the sword, I'm guessing. I feel like maybe it's time to do something about it. You could make an appointment to see Mr. K. He's really good at talking to you. more like shoving Nancy in the marriage dumpster. Yeah. Oh. That'll oh, just make things no. worse. No, 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 no. No, if there's one thing I know about bullies, it is that you should never, ever stand up to them. Doesn't sound hmm. right. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I know this place is hard for people like us. We're not going to be here forever. There are better places out there. Fucking Nancy. Percy. Whoa. Damn, Percy. Percy, push me. What the hell? Who the fuck is Mrs. Dodds? Percy Jackson. <laughs> Okay. It was only a matter of time before we found you. Well, that's not good. Where is it, half blood? Where's what? Where is it? What the hell? Damn! That's one hell of a pen. Is he dead? Clearly, his eyes are open. Where's Mrs. Dodds? I didn't do anything to him. Bullshit. Percy, there's no one here by that name. What? Hell? Mr. Jackson, a number of your classmates saw you and Mr. Underwood arguing with Miss Bobofit. Yet you have offered no explanation for how she ended up in that fountain, other than uh, she tripped. I didn't touch Nancy. Technically true. Now, isn't there anything else you'd like to say for yourself? I didn't touch Nancy. Which is the truth. Okay. Percy had told me earlier in the day that he wanted to get back at Nancy for all she'd done to us. What Grover. the fuck, Grover? And he isn't being truthful about what happened at the fountain. Grover, excuse me. Are you saying you saw Mr. Jackson assault Miss Bobofit? The fuck are you doing, Grover? Well, fuck, Grover. You can tell me. I might just understand. You want to bet? <laughs> Percy. I've seen all... Trust in the kindly old man. I don't need any more stories about how special I don't realize I am. They aren't helping. This is my ride. I'm going home. They never really do. Fuck that place. All right, if, but still, if you're gonna live under my roof, you gotta live by my rules. Your roof? My mom is the only one employed here. Excuse me, I have a job. What does it look like I'm doing right now? What are you doing? You're losing at imaginary poker. You would think that because you're a child <laughs> and you don't understand things. Where's like... my mom? Mom. I'm really sorry. 
sitting out in the rain. You know how hard I've been trying, but this time it really wasn't my fault. It really wasn't my fault. I'll let now. <laughs> sorry, I'm just Mr. Bruner called me too. He told me about Grover. Do you want to talk about it? Grover's dead to us. Somebody needs some, some stitches. Pills? Me to get any work done. Percy and I are leaving for Montauk. I, uh, I'll have the car back by Sunday morning. Whoa, 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 whoa. Montauk? Who's going to Montauk? I called to reserve the place as soon as I got off the phone with Yancey. Who's Yancey? The school? This fucking guy. And then I'm gonna eat my sandwich and yours while I listen to the game on the radio. You know, I hate watching the Knicks alone. So do I! Would you make sure they put the hot peppers <laughs> on my sandwich? Please? Not if you're gonna ask like that. I said please. <laughs> You have them put the peppers on my sandwich. You got it. <laughs> Dynamic. Now take your shoes off before you get in my car. You understand me? We have a lot to talk about, but uh, let's All right. off and see Let's get ahead of it. We'll talk at the beach. Okay? Pack your bag, let's go. So who's his real dad? Is the giant gonna come and smash the door down? Who are you? What's your name? So weak. So scared. He's 12. So Run away, little hero. Before you get hurt. Who the fuck was that? Why was she crying? On three. Ready? One. I mean, she obviously knows two. things. It hasn't felt like daydreaming. It's felt, I don't know, more real, maybe. Then we were at the museum and you saw something. What is he like? How do they put it? Crossing the veil between worlds or something? So, what did she say? Where is it? She? How did you know it was a she? No, I didn't even catch that at all. Wow. <laughs> Mom, how did you know about that thing I we saw? We come to this place every year because this is the place I met your father. And who is that exactly? What does my dad have to do with this? I'm gonna say everything. That I had never met a man like him before. And then I realized well, there's a reason for that. Unlike any man I had ever met before. Because he, he wasn't a man at all. He was a god. That could be taken in such a different way. It has always been a part of who you are. It was always coming. I just... Why are you telling me Percy, this? I know that this is hard to understand, but you're... Clearly you're in danger. You've already been attacked once. It's crazy. Okay, I'm not a god. There is something wrong with my brain. And and now you're telling me stories like it's going to make it okay? So I'm, I'm just going to do some more magic. I know there's no such thing as monsters. I know there's no such thing as gods. And I know for certain that there is no such thing as demigods. Who's there? It's a giant. Jackson, it's Grover. Ah, fuck so Grover. Time sensitive because someone maybe opened the door. What is he doing here? I don't want to see him. Wait, mom. I asked to have the night. You said we could all leave in the morning. Sorry, I'm really, but I didn't have any choice. Where the fuck is Grover? This is all so Grover. Why? Grover, why is there half a goat in your pants? Oh, it's. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh boy, she didn't tell you about. You didn't tell him about me. You're early. So the important thing is not to panic. We'll Could continue. Punch him, car. please. Let's go. <laughs> Fucking Grover. I'm Grover. I'm your best friend. And what are you? You also got him kicked out of school. I'm a satyr. And I'm your protector. You're my protector? 
I'm sorry. Like that makes it okay. Mm. The human world. Okay. My legs, Dawes's wings, even Dawes's absence. But it isn't supposed Interesting. to be things from me. Uh, it's not far, actually, just a little ways past the bend up there. Mom, what else haven't we talked about? Who's your father? He is next. He, he is brutal. He is relentless. He used to wear your underpants. The Mr. Magic cards were training. Everything has been training for what's still ahead of you. What's ahead of me, boy? Yeah, I'm actually 24. Hold on, please. What? Uh. Yeah, pretty sure that car's fucked. Well, I'm gonna assume the Minotaur's okay. <laughs> but I don't know. We're here. That's the boundary. No monsters can cross it. We just have to get there first. Percy will be safe on the other side. Percy will be. But will all of us be safe? Humans not allowed? I gotta go now, sweetheart. Go? What do you mean, go? I can't go with you. Why can't you? She's human. Yeah. Humans aren't allowed. But also, how I safe is he gonna be at camp? Now. Yes, very sad. Anyway. We need to move. Give me your coat. Why? What are you gonna do? He smells half but he's tracking yeah. me out. That's right. So if he smells you in two directions at once, maybe I can confuse him, buy us both a little time to get away. Mom, please don't. Hey. It'll be okay. It's a hell of a risk. I love how the jacket's also red too. <laughs> Why is it still wearing underpants? Guess nobody wants to see a giant bull penis? Wow, that's not good. What the hell? What just happened? He squeezed her so she turned to dust? What the fuck was that? Dunno, man. What, he doesn't have a scratch on him? <laughs> Shit. I mean... It's a pity we can't really get a good look at it because it's in the dark. But from what I can tell, it looks good. Man, it's like Harry vs. the Troll in Halloween. Damn! Okay. So you kill things and they turn to dust? Like they just vanish? Son of a bitch. It's his first day and he's killed a bloody Minotaur. Welcome Centaur. to camp, Percy Jackson. We've been expecting you. What the hell, man? Okay. <laughs> this is intriguing as hell. It's like, I actually have to watch more because I'm so confused. Alright, so, I can understand, like, the, uh, magical things, like the Minotaur and whatever, what was she, a harpy, Mrs. Dodds, like, vanishing after you killed and stuff, and why did I, why did his mom do the same thing? And that's what I don't get, and, uh, yep. Yeah. It's just a very good introduction, I think. Uh, definitely need to know more. Let's see if you guys enjoy this reaction and want to see more Percy Jackson's in the Olympians. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and join me next time. See you then.